Welcome back, friends. I'm Flop, and this is my Let's Play Cryptarch series. We are one mission away from assaulting the Cryptarch. We got some key technology in the last mission, even though we didn't acquire much. Uh, we did get the frag shotgun, one of my favorites. We already have the piercing, heavy machine gun, also a favorite. Um, all sorts of baddies starting to pop up. Um, we do have a bunch of money. Now it's all about having, do we have the right tech to finish the game? Um, unless you're going for a high score, in which case, the cheaper you can win the high reward missions, the better. Uh, six hull, no supply pods, destroyed door locks. That seems fairly simple. Um, armorings, easy to destroy, but totally pains in the butt. Six and a half minutes. All right, we can manage that. Uh, 60k limit at this point on your loadout is death. Death. 100k, probably also death. All right, looks like by process of elimination, we are going after this ship. Let's look at what we got here. Destroy door lock, six max hull, no supply pods. We're used to functioning with all these. To destroy the door lock, we're gonna have to kill these repair systems or, yeah, because I believe the door lock is invulnerable like, until, after, until you put in this stuff. Uh, we could destroy pretty much everything in here uh, fairly quickly with our new piercing weapons. Uh, and then there's the core, level 3, so it's going to have that burst attack at the end and lots of little projectiles flying around. Uh, our nuke attempt against it last time didn't work at all. Uh, it's hard to nuke it because as soon as you get close it starts shooting out things everywhere and just setting the nuke is tough. So, let's go. We're going to check out our new awesome tech. I'm not sure it, how tech is rewarded. Um, so this, uh, the frag gun is so, so good. It's got a wider spread, more projectiles, tons of damage, bounces off stuff, can't hit yourself. Um, it's just brutal, brutal, uh, especially mixed with Q ammo. Um, it is really, really quite expensive. It's not quite a thousand per shot, uh, but it's like uh, 75k per shot. Is that right? Um, three to five. No, it's like uh, six thousand, six hundred per shot, basically. Uh, the trench gun, if you haven't seen this yet, uh, I feel like I had this, but maybe I'm thinking of another playthrough. Uh, slow firing, but it does do a double shot every time you do push the trigger. The double shot does count as two ammo, so ammo might drain twice as fast as you'd expect. One trigger, two ammo. Uh, huge blast radius, though, and a, a capable of dealing a lot of damage. These do not pierce. Um, I do like it early in the game. It does fall off uh, later, but of course um, you get more than twice as much ammo compared to the frag. I like to bring like a ton of ammo on the frag because it is so good. Um, it's great against every type of enemy in the game and system. Remote grenades, um, these you can just cook off and when you push the button again they go off. So completely controlled by you when they explode. Uh, they're nice, but at this point in the game, nothing special. Everything else we got was a system. Uh, so all piercing weapons, not a bad idea at this point. Um, got a bunch of piercing stuff. Kind of want piercing stuff is good against normal enemies and pretty much all systems. Napalm is even better against some systems. Uh, the fire is just uh, and with piercing items, the napalm becomes really easy to set off because um, 
the enemies can't get in the way of your napalm uh, or of your shot that triggers it, your triggering attack. Okay, we don't need sensors. We now have fixed 10, so if I bring a ton of health, which I'm not going to because that's one of my things, we can fix that. Uh, and that's the only new thing we have. Five seconds of invincibility. Q ammo. Very effective, especially with piercing items as that 20% bonus damage is insane. R nukes and a fix five. I wish I had the fix five times three. Uh, that is one of the best in-game items available. There's nothing we can't destroy here, guys. Uh, so we might go crazy because we do need a bunch of tech. Uh, and I would even, I would almost consider losing if we don't get the fix 15. We are going for like pure tech um, over pretty much everything else. We have to destroy the door lock system and the brain. That doesn't look like it's going to be too hard. Uh, I don't think I actually am going to need both nukes. So let's go for another fix five because we can't use supply pods. And the Q ammo, one nuke. One nuke doesn't hurt. Um, I think I'm going to... And it doesn't even produce enemies. Yeah, we're just going to sweep through here and blow the crap out of everything. The first thing we're going to do is disable half of the sentry enemies. Um, sweep through here, blow out the other side. Um, destroy everything in here. Uh, we could go for this area first. That'll still take out half the wall-mounted enemies. Um, yep, yep, yep. Grab us these three techs. Sure, the shields we can leave until the very end. Oh, no. If I want to destroy that alarm, which I don't have to, um, then I'll have to destroy this shield. I do want those two techs there. Uh, key cards. Oh, no, we need to destroy the door locks anyway. Okay, so we'll blow up here. We'll come in here. We'll kill as much stuff as we can take out the door lock once we've cleaned most of the enemies out. Um, snarf up all the techs. Uh, that repair station has to go quite early. Uh, let's destroy... Let's do. We're going to drop a nuke right here. So we'll come in. We'll destroy the sentry nuke. We'll blow our way straight to this repair station and kill it as fast as possible. Oh, oh, there's a plan. We'll destroy this sentry really quick. We'll bolt back out, come over here, um, destroy this sentry, put our nuke down, uh, set it off, come back this way? Yeah, that's what we should do. Okay, we'll see how tough things go. And of course, if we hold down all of our attacks, we do tons of damage. This is a pretty expensive loadout. 22, 1. All right. Should be easy breezy. Got to pay attention to the techs. Oops. OK. Whoops, whoops, shit's getting crazy. Okay. We blew that up. Let's go ahead and destroy these three. Yep, thank you, Frag Cannon.
Okay. Grab those techs. Nuke that thing. Destroy that again. That'll keep the repair stations busy. While we head over to this one. We're going to nuke that as soon as we can set the nuke, really. As soon as we can set the charge. Mm, game seems a little clippy. Okay. did not see that prox mine. Okay, can't grab that pod. Don't care about that. Coming down here, there are things on the wall. Okay, excellent. Okay, what do we have down? Both arm rings. Excellent. Every system we destroyed is down. We have to destroy the door lock. Uh, nothing is coming back, and there's no generating, so the time pressure is kind of off. Um, let's do destroy the door lock, because it leads to here. Might as well clear out these enemies, too. Um, but let's grab that tech, that tech, that tech. We'll sweep up here, kill this. Uh, we're gonna have to kill that anyway. Yeah, okay. Now we just want to very quickly and efficiently, let's look at our ammo. We're doing pretty good. Um, health is a little low, but we do have another health pickup. Okay, it can be hard. Note that that goo is hurting themselves. Okay, I just wanted that gone. Yay, piercing. Proximity mine, I hate you. <sighs> Come on, you're killing me here. Okay, door lock destroyed. Now it's all about destroying the command center and collecting tech. So let's go get us some tech. Not hard to deal with enemies. Tech. Tech. Watching the mini map for, oh, jeez. Okay, note to self, mines do not show up on the... Fortunately, having machine gun shots are enough to take them out. Okay, got all the tech. Now it's going up here. Do I care about clearing the alarm system? Almost all the enemies in the game are going to be dead by the time I get there. We have a nuke left. Um... Take them out. Mm. 
Okay, let's set that off. Let's go get this tech. How many techs are in there? Just the one. We can probably get it and then leave. Okay, we're out. 57 seconds left. Uh, let's go ahead and make life easy on ourselves. We still have plenty of ammo. Um, we are going to go a bit over time, but... Fine. Okay, I want that tech. Oh, it's one of those. These things suck. Frag is pretty much the perfect weapon, except for range. Okay, we're 16 seconds over killing that, then we're going for the core, we're out of nukes, we're out of health, so we have to play it a little safe. Better to play it slow and safe than to screw anything up here at the end of what's a pretty good run. Expensive, but solid. Easy peasy. Nice. Need to let our shields regen. recharging right as we launch those last shots all right so a minute 18 over it's a significant amount less than 40k uh, did we capture we did not get the heal we wanted um, I forgot to pay attention but we did get lots of cash and we are heading to the crypt arc which should certainly get its own episode um, Yep. Okay. So 516k. The fix two is an interesting item as uh, it heals you two health. It's good for those three health missions. Uh, and it's cheap. But a little odd because, of course, um, that's a really low amount of health to be going in. Uh, looks like we got the grenade nuke. We got the rocket nuke. We got the EMP blaster chain gun tractor lots of interesting stuff grenade frag those are excellent the quick shield um remote rockets heavy rockets uh and mines so uh now we face the crypt arc uh i will see you in the next episode i'm sure because i'm kind of on the edge of my seat and i know this is going to be a fantastic run we're gonna probably focus well i'll talk about it then till next time people do as i say not as I do.